Hey loves, welcome to Rogos High. This is going to be a general collective reading for you, the viewer, or the person or situation you are dealing with. Let's just see what energy comes out. I will clarify uh, to the best of my knowledge. Take what applies to you. Leave the rest. All right. Let's see what messages we get here. For you, the viewer. A few of them came out. Healthy boundaries. All right, some of you guys could be stepping into um, creating some healthy boundaries. You could be feeling that things have been a bit shaky in your life, um, or you could simply just want to maintain what you've created for yourself. You could have some some type of sense of um, stability, and you're not wanting to lose that. All right, so you're creating very healthy boundaries when you feel that people are overstepping those boundaries, or you feel that people are trying to... I just heard micromanage or monitor you, overanalyze you. It's like someone could be trying to tell you how to do something, when to do something, what to do, and you are not allowing it. You are creating healthy boundaries because you are the creator of your own life. And I feel that um, you are standing firm in whatever decisions you're making at this time for your self-betterment. You got the three of swords here. So some of you all could be dealing with a situation that did create some type of um, heartache for you or some type of frustration, even I feel um, some type of loss. This could even just be you learning um, lessons. You know, you could be learning your lessons like maybe in the past or currently you dealt with a situation where you allow someone to be so involved, like to insert themselves into your life to where they had too much power over your happiness or too much power over your stability or finances it's like somebody had some type of um weight like they created a dynamic with you that may have felt heavy you may have felt like you know you were giving a lot to a situation and you weren't really seeing that in return the same in return and so that could alone have like you know been a bit of a heartache you could also be dealing with like a separation or some type of loss that has created some heartache for you but you're learning to create healthy boundaries if you've just recently gone through a split for example i feel that you are stepping into the mindset now moving forward like if i'm going to allow anybody else into my space into my you know environment i'm going to ensure that they do not overstep the boundaries that i have set in stone for myself okay so you are definitely learning lessons and applying them for your future prospects okay we have the will here, or no, the world, in the reverse position, all right? So I do feel that you could feel you have some unfinished business with something or someone. I feel like, you know, if you are, for example, if this is in regards to love, if you are going to step back into a situation that you once dealt, dealt with, someone could have broken your heart in the past um and could be trying to come back around because there's unfinished business between you and this person um you could also have a situation to where you're dealing with someone currently and you feel like you know you're not getting the closure that you need you're not getting the time or the respect you're it's like something is missing with the world reverse you're seeking some type of um fulfillment that you're not currently receiving and so i feel that that's created some heartache for you if this is someone coming back around, I feel that you are not going to give them the same amount of attention, love, like, you know, chances that you may have given them in the past. Like I said, I feel you've learned your lesson in some way, shape or form. OK, and so you're creating these boundaries now so that you are not allowing anybody to overstep them. You're not allowing anybody to just walk in, take all you have from you and then leave you're not allowing that anymore you're making sure that you take your time so <clears throat> if this person is coming back around into your life i feel that you're going to be very slow with them very slow possibly like you know and i don't want a relationship with you right now let's be friends let's be cordial let's take our time I feel that you've just stepped more into a space of protecting yourself, alrighty? So whomever you could be, could have been dealing with or are currently dealing with, they're not getting it as easy as they used to in the past because they created some type of um, heartache towards you, all right? Mm -hmm. Removing blockages. So a lot of you guys, I feel you are aware. 
you're very aware of the part you played. I'm hearing taking accountability. So you're taking accountability for the role that you've played in your situations, okay? You're not pointing the finger anymore. Maybe that was something that could have been a blockage for you in the past where you didn't see where you were wrong. You really believe that the person you were dealing with or situations you were dealing with, environments you were dealing with, you felt like they were out of whack, like they just didn't get you or they, you know, were mistreating you. But you've learned how you've allowed these things to happen. And I feel that now that you're step, stepping into a more, you know, clear energy and more power within yourself, you understand how powerful you are as an individual that's helping you in your future endeavors it's helping you to see okay if i set healthy boundaries off top then i don't have to deal with the heartache later on okay or i can be very clear and honest with myself that you know this person isn't for me this situation isn't for me rather than letting it linger around for so long and then later on dealing with a heartache you know what i mean or feeling like there's unfinished visions and i get in the closure that i need if i'm honest and upfront in the beginning the blockage won't even be there to begin with. So you're removing blockages ahead of time by ensuring that you're being honest with yourself, you're being fair to yourself, and you are, you know, setting the these standards pretty high is what I feel. They're not um, unattainable. It's just that you know what you deserve. You know what you deserve, and you're not willing to settle for less. Strength. Yeah, a lot of you guys have overcome a lot. You've been very resilient. Okay, you're very clear at this time. Very, very clear. Okay, so I feel that instead of you moping about it, instead of you feeling like, okay, you know, I'm going to be sad and jaded and heartbroken, you've decided to utilize that pain and turn it into something that creates a, a solid foundation for you. Okay, you have basically mustered up the courage, the strength to be able to tell people exactly what you feel exactly what you want even if it is you know going to create some type of disagreement between you and this person or even if they you know if it creates distance between you and this person you're now having the courage to put you first all right you're putting you first because you you don't want to be heartbroken at the end of the day by you know constantly putting others above you or putting their needs above yours and so you come to a space of being very strong and even if it makes you uncomfortable, I feel like you're speaking up. You're telling people, this is what I want. This is what I want. You can't give it to me. Fine. This is what I feel. If you don't understand that, fine. This is what I require. If you cannot provide that, fine. You're very, very assertive and very direct with your intentions right now. And I feel like it's taking you a lot of strength because you're used to kind of allowing people to just come through and ride, ride that wave, you know, kind of take advantage and you just go with their flow. No more of that. That was too easy. It was too easy for you to be quiet, but it was also creating heartache. So it wasn't really easy for you, okay, in the past. You were just wanting to keep the peace or save face. And so you decided to be quiet in the past, whereas now, no more of that. You're starting to assert yourself a bit more and you're learning and realizing or will soon begin to realize that the more you do this, the easier it becomes for you and the more you get what you truly want, okay? <clears throat> Screaming for more. All right, some of you guys could be dealing with <laughs> someone very passionate towards you. Somebody wants to connect with you right now. They want more of you. They could be trying to get your attention. All right. I want to get some clarity on that. Screaming for more energy. See exactly who we could be dealing with. I have cards here that um, are a bit more descriptive in regards to the characteristics of a person. So, the screaming for more energy. We have healing hands. All right. So, this could be someone that I just heard massage or masseuse. So this could be someone that likes to work the kinks out, okay? This could be someone very knowledgeable about the body. They could provide a lot of support when it comes to the body, you know, or they could just physically, like, touch you and you feel better, all right? Whoever this person is that wants more, they tend to work with the hands first. Like, they have healing hands. They have a way that they touch you to make you feel better, and we also have gentlemen, all right? So this could be a gentleman that you are dealing with. Um, again, I'm getting like this very sensual energy, but both of these cards, healing hands and gentlemen, this person, they're, as I said, knowledgeable about the body. They could be even very knowledgeable about the woman's body. 
and so they know what to do to i just heard get you hot turn you on but more than anything they know how to heal with their hands okay so this person they may want to connect with you maybe there's some type of distance between you and them and they're craving you with that screaming for more energy they want you to be in their presence so that they could you know heal either a situation with you or so that they could um heal any type of pain that they feel they may have caused you remember we saw the three of swords earlier so i feel someone knows that they they've given you a great deal of pain all right or caused a great deal of pain uh towards you and they want to find a way to work those kinks out all right to to get that pain out to alleviate that so um let's continue on with our messages what else do we have for you viewer wow the seven of wands someone's going to want to come through and fight for this connection you could also be feeling this um towards someone all right you could just it could be a very um I don't want to say mirroring, even though that's the vibe it's given, but it's just like you and someone else, you're on the same page. You're wanting to fight for a connection. You want to continue to share your ideas and you want to grow. All right. So someone is feeling that you are worth um, investing in. You are worth your, you are worth fighting for at this time. You could be feeling that same way about this person or this connection. This could also be in regards to something that you're passionate about with the wands energy. All right, you could be uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or could be dealing with one, or have these uh, placements heavily in your chart. But the Seven of Wands is definitely a representation of um, standing standing up for what you want. Could be even just be you standing up for yourself. As we said, you are creating those healthy boundaries. You're no longer just allowing people to walk over you. Um, you're you're being more assertive. And so that energy is definitely helping you to grow. It's helping you to, I just heard business. You could be growing a business by being more assertive in regards to how valuable you are. Maybe you sold yourself short before. Maybe you didn't understand how, how much the services you provided um, truly helped people, truly inspired them to grow or inspired them to be better, whatever the case may be. So you're starting to realize the value of not only yourself, but what you provide to others, okay? <laughs> I just heard put some respect on it. <laughs> What's, what is this service? Maybe it's a service you provide. Let me see. Put these cards here. What is this Seven of Wands energy? Oh, okay, you got good parenting. Good parenting. So maybe you're setting some, uh, some firm boundaries when it comes down to your children or in regards to children. Um, or just being a great, like, you know, father or mother figure in someone's life. All right, you're setting an example. So I feel this is giving the energy like you have a gift of not only talking about it, but also walking in it. So people don't just sit down and listen to you because they want to listen to you. It's because you truly live by whatever you're teaching. You live by whatever you, you know, are in, in let me see, whatever you are telling people to do or asking of others you've done it yourself okay so you are setting the example before you start to you're practicing what you preach is what i'm getting with this energy you practice what you preach and that's why people trust in your knowledge they trust in your advice they trust in what you have to say and uh, i'm getting like this leadership energy for this all right so someone could even be standing up for you in regards to um a leadership position all right this could be work related like we saw passive income earlier um there could be someone standing up to, to create a better opportunity for you someone that may even surprise you but someone is like fighting for you like i said this is like someone that's going to help you grow and so someone could be speaking good on your name right now um this person could be in a, le a leadership role this could be a parent even that is speaking well on your name trying to get people to see that there are other layers to you trying to get people to understand that you are very valuable okay so this could be getting uh, um, this could be happening behind your back okay unbeknownst to you whether you're connected with your parents or not at this time or just someone in general that you have no idea is speaking highly of you and creating a better opportunity or even better perspective for you um and I feel it's going to promote some type of growth or opportunity for you, okay? 
get a couple more and we'll go ahead and close this out wow look at that elevated nice guys could have that uh water energy in your chart scorpio cancer pisces or you could be dealing with one but you could be feeling elevated at this time and you are elevating at this time you're growing you're growing i just heard outgrowing certain situations as well so there are certain things that are no longer challenging for you because it's like you've been there done that is what i'm hearing as i said the more you practice self-love and you practice you know asserting yourself standing up for yourself the easier it becomes your true identity your true reality and i feel that people are going to respect you based on how much you respect yourself if you don't speak up for yourself, others may just, you know, continue on with the trend of not speaking up for you or not treating you with respect compared to when you start to assert yourself, value yourself, speak up for yourself, others see you in that light as well. Like you're not to be played with or toyed with. And so I feel that you're creating that those healthy boundaries and it's creating a dynamic around you as well. Like your environment is elevating with you if there are people that are not growing with you or elevating with you they're not meant to you know be on the platform with you and so you're you're starting to pay attention and realize at this time like wow i'm I'm truly growing i've outgrown a lot i've overcome a lot and um i've really never lost anything i haven't lost anything i've really gained a lot of knowledge i've learned a lot of lessons and now i'm ready to elevate myself all right so but ever, um, remember we saw passive income. So maybe you were selling yourself short on the level of like, I'm just an employee or, you know, applying for jobs. It just said like the <laughs> entry level of things, not realizing that you are a natural born boss, you know? So it's like, if you're applying for jobs and getting this energy coming through, uh, apply for supervisor and managerial positions. You have that skill. You're you're that well. Like you have that much experience to where you're able to do that. Just make sure that you come through with the healthy boundaries. Also, you know, being reminded of that and the seven of wands of defending your name. Make sure that your resume is strong. We saw the strength card as well. Make sure that you look good and strong on paper. All right, so that the words and things that people are saying about you speaking highly on you is going to all line up when people meet you. They're like, yes, I want her. I want him. That's the right. That's the perfect candidate for this. I already heard great things about you. I see your resume. So I know you have the experience and now I'm meeting you. You speak very well. I could tell that you value yourself. You're what I've been looking for. All right. So it's going to create an overall dynamic of who you are as an individual. But you have to make sure that you see it first. All right. Make sure you see it first. Very bottom of the deck, the star that you are shining star all right you're healing i feel that your wishes are going to be granted at this time you are on the right path with the star energy do not sell yourself short i'm getting that heavily please know that you've done your part all right I'm, i keep hearing been there done that so don't continue to repeat situations relationships jobs environments that you know you've outgrown you know you've elevated from this if you have energies that are wanting to remain at a low vibration we're not here to try to control that or dictate how they should be moving okay like we saw with that good parenting energy uh the most you can do is inspire and allow others to follow you it's only so much that you could teach someone, um, you could lead them to water, <laughs> basically. That's been coming up a lot in my energy. You can lead them to water, but you can't make them drink. So just keep that in mind um, as you're growing, as you're elevating yourself, as you are starting to assert yourself, value yourself, love on yourself. It starts with you first. Then you start to attract that type of respect, that type of love. And, you know, work opportunities, career opportunities, um, love connections, even like, you know, your peers, your friends, whatever the case may be, you start to gain respect when you first give it to yourself. And so I do feel that you are now realizing that you are healing and you are stepping into a completely different dynamic now. You have so much to look forward to. I'm happy for you. Good luck with all. Love you guys. And I'll see you next time.